Mr. Elder, what I read in your complaint is that, according to you, you're a good guy and you like to help people who've fallen on hard times. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. McEntee found himself in that situation where he was in a homeless situation. When was that, Mr. McEntee? That was uh, May 30th when I actually came up to his place from California. And how did you come in contact with Mr. Elder? It was through a friend of mine that he invited up to his house first about a month and a half before I actually arrived. I was pretty reluctant to go up there. It just didn't sound right and so forth. And then I had a deadline to get out to where I was, so... Who was this friend of yours? His name was Kevin, and uh, he lived with Where had you met him? I met him at the uh, Project Hope, where I was actually staying. Okay, so he was also in a process of being homeless and didn't have a place of his own. Yes, Your Honor. And he contacted you and said, I'm staying with Mr. Elder? Yes. So, Mr. Elder lives in Oregon. You were in California? Yes. You traveled to Oregon? Yes, Your Honor. How did you get the money to go there? He paid for everything. He drove me up in his car. So he came down to California? He came down. The first that I met him, he had uh, gave me an acupuncture appointment. I had never met him before and told me to meet him there. So I got my acupuncture appointment, and that's how I met him. Were you surprised at his generosity? Something didn't seem right, you know, in this day and age. Nobody goes out of their way like this man did. I'm surprised by it. I assumed you were, too. An array of hope, so to speak. Well, good. But you were surprised it's that a stranger did something nice for you. Were you waiting for the other shoe to drop for something bad to happen? I wasn't anticipating it, you know. My glass was always half full, but, you know, it sounded a little good to be true. But it wasn't. You went to his house, and your friend Kevin was there? He wasn't there. He had already been kicked out about a month before. When you say he had been kicked out about a month before, where did he go? Well, uh, this man actually bought a a motorhome and put it in his yard where he was going to stay in the motorhome, and then he revoked the motorhome. So he kicked him out, and Kevin went wherever he went. Okay. Now, your arrangement with him, Mr. McEntee, was that Mr. Elder would let you stay in his home, provide you with food, etc., until you got on your feet. Yes, Your Honor. And in the hopes of you getting on your feet, Mr. Elder had a truck that needed to be fixed up for you to be able to use in a business. Yes, Your Honor. What kind of business were you hoping to do? It was landscaping. Okay. Your Honor, might I interject? Yes. I actually purchased uh, two pickups for Mr. McEntee, and he, he didn't get a job right away, a little bit older. He didn't do as well as Kevin and some of the folks. So I have a friend who has a ministry, helps people uh, get vehicles, especially single mothers, so they can get a job. Uh, Mike was kind of picky. He didn't like the first truck. Uh, these were older trucks, this so is, I got another is, one. This is so. much too much information for Yes, me. Your Honor. Because part of So I bought him a truck, and he was going to pay me You back. bought him a truck, but when the two of you separated, you kept the truck. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so you have the truck. Yes, Your Honor. What I'm really concerned about in your complaint is not the truck, because you have the truck. You bought it, you fixed it up, now you can sell it if you like, you can keep it if you like. He's not buying it from you. You don't even want to sell it to him. That's not part of your complaint. Yes, Your Honor. And I think it was probably a very good idea that you changed the locks on your house. I think it's a good idea if you're bringing homeless people into your house that you change the locks every time they leave. (laughs) Your Honor, I am a Marine, though, and I don't operate out of fear. It's a ministry. Well, that's good. I only fear God and you a little bit. Well... (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Elder, I hope in that order. (laughs) 